Oh, what a lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here. As we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have uh, rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the Aratu leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper. The traffic has been extraordinary, but the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing around the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture, well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. We are in the port city of Porto, and this unmistakably the Estadio do Dragao. Blue, certainly the colour. Got the juices flowing, and now this. game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have high-caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in, and this becomes a big incentive. It changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction, and hopefully the style of contest. the whistle who do you think this turns on Jim yeah Thiago Silva he's a player who doesn't seem to have any weaknesses at all Peter he's strong he's quick he's technically gifted and very comfortable in possession what I particularly find impressive about him though is his consistency and his reliability he just never seems to to make a mistake opposition strikers could be in for a hard time of it today yeah, the scourge of so many strikers. And here's Roberto Firmino. Fred. Good take and he's had a look. Richarlison really got caught in a trap there and he just couldn't get out. Tries to get it forward quickly. Arias, Sanchez, Mina, Mina gets it forward, Luis Mu shapes the shoot, Thiago Silva concedes a free kick for that, Lerma more than happy to take the muscular approach Lerma has got himself a free kick Quadrado, Arias is fouled. Early 
ball. It can't be set for the finish. Well, by crossing the ball so quickly, I think this defence just can't get set to deal with it. I think deserved a better outcome than what we saw, but um, worth exploring more. And here's Roberto Firmino. He could be... And the shot! Forward it goes. Thiago Silva gets it back. Fred. And it's Firmino. Quadrado. Played in with accuracy. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Firmino. Now can he finish? Goes for goal! He's pulled off a fine save. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Gets up to head it! Oh, nearly. But nearly is nothing. That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Arias. Arias drives it forward. Thiago Silva. Maybe goalless, but it is not without interest. Yeah, and it's been like a, a breath of fresh air to their attack. I think that switching of flanks has, has finally created a new and, and, for me, much more dangerous dimension. Back into the middle. Quadrado. Arias. Mina. Sanchez. Well, that's where he wants it. Straight offside. Marquinhos. Arthur. Played out to the right. Richarlison decides to play it back. Neymar! Done very well to get to that. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. It's a promising run he's making on the right. And it's Neymar. Richarlison. And here's Roberto Firmino. Massive leap! Oh, just needed a better contact. Colombia can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Tries to locate someone up front, dashing forward at pace. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Uh, the worst choice he could pick. He needed to get his head up and, and see the outlet to his right. Can't get the better of his opposite number. It's a loose ball. And the finish! No, not this time. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Quadrado, Lerma, Mina, Sanchez gets into a dangerous position. Thiago Silva positions himself well and cuts it out. 
Also, Neymar, chance! Oh, right on the edge of the penalty area, what's he giving here? Now the referee has given a free kick just outside the box. Lerma is being told in no uncertain terms that this will be his final warning. Well, I think the referee... That is simply superb! That is a gem! An absolute gem! And Brazil take the lead! Dispatched expertly, nicely done. <laughs> So we have our breakthrough. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Thiago Silva. Now it's Roberto Firmino. And it's Neymar. Richarlison! A real chance to break. Lerma hoists it forward. And it's played forward. The ball's come loose, and the chase is on. And the counter is on. Neymar. The breakthrough came in the final moments of the first period, and the score is 1-0. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. He's got options out wide. Danilo. Referee's given a throw. And they win it back again. And the first 45 minutes are up. There we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. There has only been that one goal. It is very, very good. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain the momentum now and finish the job. Brazil are in at half time with a slender one goal lead. And we're off again. Brazil going well here. They're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit. But they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Casemiro. Arthur. Fred goes looking. Quadrado. Mina looks to bypass the midfield. Colombia looking to counter. Oh, real danger here. Marquinhos, Neymar, looking crossfield, changing the point of attack, and here's Roberto Firmino. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Lerma drives it forward. Marquinhos.
Muriel. Norma. Shoots! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Well, it was just some wayward passing that let the opposition in then. And I have to say, a very lucky escape. You lose it there, you expect to be punished. Fred. Richarlison. Richarlison! What a bang on target. Oh, Cal desperately wants to get on the end of this. Richarlison. Now it's Neymar. It's Neymar! immediate danger someone looks like he's in need of protect oh shooting chance just off target oh how close was that to going in it only required the smallest of tweaks Richarlison. Neymar. Scoring skills have already been evident. Breaks on here. Arias. Not easily shrugged off the ball. And it's Neymar. Neymar with the crossfield ball. Firmino. Out to the right. Quadrado. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, the message they're sending out now is pretty loud and clear. Let's grab a second goal and, and give ourselves an element of comfort. Firmino. Firmino. That's the throw. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. That intervention was very necessary. Goes direct to the front line. Time and again, they are repelled. Fred plays it forward. James Rodriguez. Drives it towards the front. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Well, I think hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Spot on, Peter. Arthur. Fred. Almost 75 minutes on the clock now. Played back in. And what's he giving here? Brazil presented with a golden opportunity here. Well, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and... You have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. A speed up, looking to stare down to unsettle the taker. Calm as you like, and they're running away with it. He was just never going to miss. Well, that looked a simple case of giving the keeper the eyes and just slipping the ball to the other side. That was clever. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more.
Brazil get themselves a two-goal cushion. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. Marquinhos does well there, alert. And that is as far as they're going to go. Marquinhos hoists it forward. Well played, he saw that coming. Gabriel Jesus is the guilty party there. Quadrado. Colombia have a free kick. Thiago Silva, forward it goes. Hoists it high. Arthur. Lerma. And it's Neymar. Arias. Oh, he's caught him there. It's a free kick. Just five minutes remaining now. Brazil clearly aren't looking comfortable on the ball at the moment. Predictability has just crept into their play. Oh, some tackle that. Arthur. Well weighted. Arias does well to read it and intercepts. That's been intercepted and that will come to nothing. The defence can get it clear. Information that there will be two minutes stoppage time. And it's played forward. Gets the better of his man. A oh, smart save. Juan Quintero! Neymar. It's a long ball, but it's not hit its target. And that's that. Solid, if not especially fancy, always in control. They did enough to win it. Well, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Brazil can certainly give themselves a pat on the back for a job well done. They have a togetherness that makes them very hard to beat. So that's it for today. Thank you, Jim. And good afternoon, all.